Welcome to Have a Happy Arty Time. My name's Jeanette. And I'm back with you in part two now, ready to make our mini booklets. I'll be using an A3 piece of sketchbook paper. Any sketchbook paper will do. And I've already covered one side of my paper previously using the jelly plate with lighter colored paints and some bubble wrap to add some patterns. Now on the other side, I'll be using darker colored paints and some packing material to make some patterns on the paper. So here we go. I'm using the Montmartre Cheap poster paints again. I love these paints as they stay open for a long time and they're inexpensive to use. This packing material came in the post around some items. It's great for making patterns. Now using my homemade baron and we're going to pull that print and add some to the other side. And it is exactly how I would like it. So just adding the stamps now in white all over this sheet. And when I get to the white area of this, I'm going to add a little bit of purple on the stamp, just so the stamps will be able to be seen on the white area. Now I'm just taking some off here. That open paint allows me to take it back. Oh, I wasn't liking the stem on the flower, so I'm able to wipe it off with a wet wipe and continue on with the stamps that I like. So there we have that side, so I'll let that dry and I'll be back and show you what I plan on doing on the inside. Okay, so this piece is dried now and we've got our outside piece that I will work on. So I have a piece of acetate and I'm just going to use that to roll some black out on to do my stamping work. So we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and color them up beautifully. So I'm back with my A3 sheet of paper. I have gone around each stamp flower on this side of the paper with the white gel pen. And then on the other side, I got my Prismacolor pencils. I find them a beautiful soft pencil. And I was able to go in and color in all the flowers. And also then I got my white gel pen and I simply went over the black. I found the black a bit too thick, a bit too dark, and I wanted to do something with that. So I just went over the black with the white gel pen and pushed the black back a bit in the picture. So I'm very happy with this. It's absolutely beautiful, I love it. So what we do then is we get our sheet of paper and we're gonna fold it in half. And then I'm going to Fold it in half again towards the center and I'm going to turn that around and I'm going to do the same up towards that fold and just fold my piece of paper so I can see if I can get that in there to where it's sitting on that edge properly. Okay, so we've got our folds. We've got one, two, three, four folds there. Then I'm going to take the sheet and I'm going to fold it in half this way. And then we want to do four folds again this way. And we're going to do the same here. Let's go over our fold again. And we can see that our booklet is going to be roughly around that size so a nice little booklet there okay so i'll just cut these sheets of paper and we'll go from there so i've cut the booklets into pieces and we can see we've got some really pretty pieces and what i'm going to do now is simply fold them back into their folded shape. Now we can have this as the cover but I'm hoping to have it the other way around so I just bend the opposite direction. Okay so that's going to be our little booklet. Now 
and as you know I color my tape on the jelly plate with the dry side down so just adding my paint onto my little homemade jelly plate that I used to color my masking tape with and you'll see I just lay down the masking tape on the dry side with the sticky side up and that transfers the paint onto the back of that and then I'm able to use that in my little booklets. And just sticking that onto my little booklet now. Now I know that that'll be a lot bigger on the back so I'm just going to cut it down so that it shows roughly the same size there. Can stick to the scissors a bit, but it's usually quite easy to cut once it's been painted up. Put that over, pat that down, and you've got that lovely see through look. So I'll just cut that off. And there we have it. And now we'll just line that up and take the smallest portion off it. And we're just wanting to cut that inside edge. Let's see how we go. Okay, and is our page opening up? Yes, wonderful, there's our page. So we'll get some more tape and we'll just place that on. So we'll use the other piece that we had. And we just have to cut it down that little bit. So we can use this as the front cover, turn our pages, or we can turn this over and use this as the front cover. We have many choices and okay. I'll just show you as I've done before. So I just like to put some little flowers on here. Okay, check all our pages so they're all good, that's beautiful, all done, there we go. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this process and I wish you a happy arty time. Stay safe, bye for now.